Okay, we have Trayvon here. He's ready for you, and we'll open it up for questions. Start right here in the front row on the left. Hey, Trayvon. Dr- uh, good morning. Uh, Jacques Doucet, WAFB TV in Baton Rouge. Um, the SEC schedule doesn't allow Tennessee to go to Baton Rouge very often or vice versa. So uh, what have you heard about Tiger Stadium playing there, and are you looking forward to it? Uh, definitely looking forward to it. Uh, we're still taking it one week at a time, but that's something that that would be an amazing experience for sure. Stay on the left side, third row. Hey, man, Ben Bobick, Local 3 News in Chattanooga. This offense obviously does a lot of fun stuff when it comes to different schemes or just the way they move the ball and the way they like to operate. How does that challenge the defense? Oh, man, it challenges us tremendously. Uh, No matter if we make a play or no matter if we lose on a play, we got to snap it clear, get ready for the next play because it's coming in a couple of seconds. Got to get the call, look at it down in distance, understand the formation, and get ready to go do your assignment quick, quick, fast, and in a hurry. Right side, third row. Hey, Trayvon, Jeff Spiegel, ABC 3340, Birmingham. Alabama is kind of a measuring stick, um, you know, for you know for the rest of the league. You guys haven't beaten them since 2006, but last year you were able to make some plays against them in Tuscaloosa. You got them at Neyland Stadium this year. Um, how encouraged are you by last year's game, and how much would it mean to finally break that streak? Oh, man, we just – us guys in Knoxville, man, we're taking it. One day at a time, one week at a time, grinding, focusing on the little details to when it comes to the first game of the season, our last game of the season, we'll be ready for it. Uh, We'll compete, we'll give it our all, and and we'll come out with a victory. Left side, second row. Hey, Trey, how important is it for you and Jalen back there to to be those guys on defense this year? No Theo, no Alante to to step up. And how would you describe your leadership kind of role and how you are as a leader? Oh, yeah, we have a huge role. Um, a lot of the young guys look up to us now, and, and we, we just had to bring guys along with us. Um, there's already guys on that side of the ball that, that, that understand the standard, though, don't get me wrong. But just um, elevating our game, elevating our leadership, uh, doing more on and off the field, building more relationships with, the, uh, with each other and with our teammates. But definitely just, just focusing on a little stuff, going back in, watching film, critiquing ourselves, and uh, just, just, just seeing what can, can we work on. It can be big things. It can be little things. But definitely just improving, improving, improving. Right side, third row. Patrick Brown with 24-7 Sports. Trayvon, um, I guess one of the big themes with you here, listening to coaches and, and teammates talk about you is your, your leadership improving this offseason. How different has that been? How different has this offseason been for you, it, it, just in that regard and, and, and in general? Uh, I, I just, just kind of had to look myself in the mirror and, and, and uh, ask myself, what, what do I really want? Um, and once I did that, I just embraced, embraced everything a lot more. Um, and my, I, I, I got to give credit to my team, too. Uh, they pushed me, pushed me tremendously at amounts to just be the greatest player that I can be uh, on and off the field, greatest leader that I can be. They hold me accountable. Therefore, I hold them accountable. So just having them around me, uh, pushing me to be better is, is a lot of help. And that's made me grow so much. And, and I, that's where our leadership is coming from. Left side, back row. Dan Peck, ESPN 106.7 in Auburn. Uh, what does it mean to you to be selected as the representative for the Tennessee defense at SEC Media Days, especially with Media Days taking place here in Atlanta? Uh, it means a lot. Uh, it's a great opportunity, uh, not just for me, but for our defense as an entire whole. Uh, I get to kind of represent us and what we've been doing and how we've been grinding and working. So. Uh, it's definitely a great opportunity, but it's, it's more so for, for to represent those guys. That's, 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 I think they're working out right now, getting it in. But, uh, yeah, man, it, it's a great opportunity. Right side, fourth row. Hey, Trevon, Sam Crenshaw, CW69 and 92.9 The Game. I'm going to piggyback on that a little bit. Are your teammates, did you point out spots to them as uh, you arrived here being back home? <laughs> yeah, they, they, they see what's going on for sure, definitely. Um, they, they, I'm from here, man. Atlanta is my native. It's my hometown, born and raised. Uh, we was just sitting looking outside at uh, Centennial Olympic Park, and I was just telling them how I remember I was around 10 years old running around that park. But, yeah, I, I definitely pointed out a few things showing them around. Front row. Good morning, Trayvon. A.P. Stedham, WGP, Foley, Alabama. Trayvon, what would you like to see from the overall defense? And can you describe the skills of Brew McCoy? 
Uh, uh, overall defense, um, we've just been focusing on the little things because um, all, it all matters when we step foot on the field come Saturdays. Are we going to do our job right? Um, when it's fourth quarter on the line, are, are we going to stay locked in? When it's fourth and one, are we going to not mess up an assignment uh, when we're tired and stuff like that? So we've definitely been pushing ourselves, um, especially when it gets hard, when we're tired, when we're, when we're exhausted. Um, we're going we're gonna to make sure every little detail now has to play more in effect. we got to pay more attention to it um, for stuff like that. And um, Brew McCoy, uh, Brew McCoy is, is, a, is a great player, great person. Uh, great guy. His work ethic is amazing. Um, he's always in the, in the weight room. He's always in the training room, always getting extra work in. Uh, you could tell he's somebody that dedicated, and he really wants the best for himself and for the team. Second row on the left. Trey, you're, earlier in your career, you suffered a lot of injuries. I think you had a you know, broken leg, collarbone, and all that. And you know, How have you grown the, the last couple of years into being the, the college football player that you want to be? Uh, just learning my body. Um, I was younger back then. I, I didn't really know what to put in my body or, or how to take care of my body the correct way. Um, those injuries actually helped me, uh, helped me learn, helped me develop more. I learned how to take care of my body. And, I, and once you learn, um, you take care of your body, your body's going to take care of you. So just eating right, living right, um, and, and everything I do, being cautious of, of what I put in my body. Right side, third row. Trayvon, a couple of things you, you touched on, Brew. You got a couple of transfers in the secondary, too, with, with Wesley and, and Andre. What have, you, what have been your first impressions of them? And secondly, seeing what Theo Jackson did last year, making a big jump late in his career, does that give you confidence that, that you can do the same and elevate your game in the same way that he did? Um, first, from, from the transfers that you've talked about, um, the most thing that, that impacted me is, is how well they, they fit in so quickly. Um, They've built, they're like, it's kind of like they've been here. Uh, they're always, like I said, those guys too are always around. They're always doing something to make them better and us better, whether it's extra work or, or, or bringing a couple guys in and watch film, things like that. Uh, you could t definitely tell that they're on a mission. Um, they're they trying to help everybody in Knoxville win. And uh, yeah, what was the next question again? Oh yeah, man. I uh, yeah, me. I've been. I've been. I've, I've got to play with Theo for about three, four years now. So it was amazing, man. Just just seeing what locking in really can do for you. Uh, seeing like how your priorities can can change your life so quick and change how you how you play or how you go about your business. Um, Theo Jackson, man. I I seen a, a transformation in him. Um, you can tell that he was all the way dialed in, locked in in every situation. And uh, he pushed himself. Uh, we pushed him as well to be the best him, and he embraced every every opportunity, whether it was good, bad, ugly. He always embraced it, and he always made himself better. Therefore, when it came uh, game time, he was ready to go every time. Yes. Coach is here. We'll start with you with the coach. Trayvon, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay.